how long does it take to buy a house that's the topic for today hi guys my name is Wisdom. i am a realtor in the beautiful state of texas today we are going to talk about the average timeline to buy a house on average it takes between four months four and a half months to start the process and then an additional 21 to 45 days to close in your in your home assuming your lender have all your documents on time and everything is running perfect to a T. so let me break it down for you guys so you guys can understand if you don't know what it what the process is to get pre-approved um, approved versus pre-approved I have a, a video you can watch my next video and if you um, don't know what document you would need you are not sure I have a video about that you can watch that next video to tell you exactly what document and all my video is based on scenarios so most of the information I give you is a vary based on different person so this video is just for education purposes only in today's inventory in today's market we seen since COVID started how crazy the market is you are sending offer left and right and your offer is not getting accepted so the time four and a half months I will leave that time behind and I will say It'll take you at least six months six to eight months to um, to buy a home and then you need the time to close on the home here's why let's say you start the process you just start looking at home you did not meet with a realtor you just started the process online so you're looking at home and you seen the and underneath the home they have the little tab to tell you how much your monthly payment is so you are assuming that's going to be your your monthly payment that is true and also not accurate here's why and that little payment they give you on the merger of the home, they only showing you if you put 20% down payment and then they add the, add the taxes, here's how much you are going to pay. They did not have um, the PMI and they did not have insurance and that's increasing your monthly payment when the lender does your payment. So that is the reason why it's always good to start the process with the realtor you may not trust the realtor because you think if you go with a listing agent you will get a better deal i highly recommend anyone that is hasn't buy a house who's a first time home buyer to interview a couple of um, realtors find the realtor that is the perfect match for you so that you can start the process together it will make your life so much easier and it will be less stressful but this is not I am talking about I want to talk about the process the timeline so when you started to look for a home so you are six months out and you're thinking about oh I don't want to rent anymore so I just want to um, own my own home so you start looking online you see the home that you like so and then once the time started to come in so four months that's when you contacted the realtor when you contact the realtor you meet with the realtor you get your lender approval and then you 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 just tell the lender this is how much money i make and this um this is a company i work for the lender just get a written consent and check your credit and plug in the number this is just verbally and they just give you a pre-approval later so from that point on then you think oh i'm good so you are starting the process but when you find the perfect home and you decided to sign a contract when you get on the contract that's when the additional time line come in 21 days 30 days 45 days sometimes 60 days if you are getting down payment assistance from the state those loans take longer especially if you are 
from someone who's getting a bond from the city of Houston. Those type of um, loan take longer and I have a video about the city of Houston down payment assistant. If you want to know more, just um, you can watch that video also. I explained the process, how it works. So from then on, you 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 were three months, you are three months out, you get pre pre approval that you're looking at home. And then once you get closer, like 60 days to your from the time your lease is over that's when you decide okay i'm going to send a contract because you need enough time to close and then move out this way you don't have to do a month to month so that's where the additional time come from however let's say you did not go online you did not do the, anything yourself you meet with the realtor so when you first meet with the realtor you talk with your realtor you um you discuss about your plan and what your your realtor will say this is what I expected from you this is what to expect from me and the realtor give you a couple of lenders so you talk to those lender you you shop for your interest rate and whoever is give you the best interest rate at that time then that's who you decide to work with if you are getting down payment assistant whoever can can do the program that's who you decide to work with when you do it like like that where you meet with your realtor you talk to your lender in front the process the length time of the process is shortened the stress also is um it is shortened because your realtor already know how much money you you are approved for and the lender already have all your documents and they know they do uh, something that call a automatic underwriting approval which means this system automatically approve you based on all the document all the informations the lender have and when all of that done you send a contract believe me when you send that contract the lender have all your information once you sign that contract you send it to the lender and the lender the the loan goes straight to the loan processor it doesn't even stay in the lenders there so once the lender sent you those disclosure for the loan and then they lock your interest rate the loan goes straight to the loan processor and once the loan goes straight to your loan processor, it she the processor review all the document. If everything isn't there, once you do it in the beginning, your loan goes straight to underwriting. And once the loan goes to underwriting, and the next thing they need is the appraisal and things like that. When that's where the delay come from, isn't the appraisal because sometimes the appraisal company might be behind and the lender have no power over it and since you're not on a wash so they don't have to pay the extra money to wash in the appraisal and that's where your 21 days 30 days and come from and if you are somebody that return your document on time you will close this that loan on time but if the lender and the realtor has to hunt you down for document let's say they need um and also to do the um, unemployment verification. If you do all of that upfront, your loan process will not be hard. It um, a lot of people think buying a house is stressful. You know, once you start the right, it not any stress. It is so much fun. You are buying the biggest asset of your life. Why do you think you have to go on your own and do it? Have, have somebody that have knowledge of the market and that have your best interest at, at heart that let them do it for you so once you get all your document on time the processor send it to underwriting the underwriting what they do the underwriting give you an approval with the conditions of the home insurance and then your appraisal that's when your lender have everything in place since the beginning you see when your loan come back all the lender need appraisal insurance and once the appraisal come back you order um, the you get your insurance the loan go back to underwriting sometimes it can take 72 hours to um to a seven days depends on the the length of time how busy they are once that done boom you get a 
a clear to close and then it moves to the timeline the 72 hours timeline and then your loan is closed so that's the process that's the timeline it's not a work at science you just have to do things right and the process will be easy so that's why we said it take on average four and a half months plus an additional 21 30 and 45 days to close depends on the loan type again for more video like this subscribe to my youtube channel my name is was done we are still done right with exp reality thank you for watching until next